McPhee. He has it all. The will to win. Brilliance, dominance, magnificence. It's the essence of the thoroughbred. It's in the blood. Dubai Millennium had it. Rated the world's best horse for 30 years. Lung-busting brilliance. His son Dabawi has it too. Here winning the Group 1 Prix Jacques Lemarois, Europe's richest mile race. And Dubawi wins the Jacques Lemarois. Just like his side before him. And Dubai Millennium is going to walk away with the Jacques Lemarois. Dabawi, now a runaway success at stud with more group winners from his first two European crops than any stallion since pattern racing began. That's dominance. And now McPhee, the next in line, the son of the sun. Unbeaten at two. Unbeaten when winning the 2,000 guineas on the quick Newmarket turf. His handsome head down and grittily determined. McPhee, brilliant, dominant in the pre-Jacques Lemarois. But it's going to be McPhee and Christophe Sumion who win by a couple of lengths. The world champion miler the world champion three-year-old, rated superior at three to both his sire and grandsire. McPhee, the horse who silenced the Roly Mile with his rapier speed in the finish, six big name Group One heroes put to the sword. McPhee, Goldacova's nemesis, smoothly passing the 12-time Group One winner, then skipping even further clear. Her only defeat in her greatest ever year. Not just a famous victory, a fabulous victory. He definitely made a lasting impression. We could see very early that McPhee had some abilities and some uh, spirit abilities to become a great horse. The quality of McPhee are definitely his temperament and his turn of foot. He's definitely a great horse for a trainer. The handicapper was scarcely less effusive. The Jacques Lemarois as far as McPhee is concerned, is the pivotal race. It is the race in which he put up his best performance. It is the race which earned him his international rating of 128. He was the joint top rated three-year-old in the world. McPhee, poised to excel in his second career as he did in his first. He's exactly what a thoroughbred is supposed to look like. And he's coming to the Southern Hemisphere in 2011. McPhee, he really does have it all.